So let's, um, one of the things is I want to talk about uh, ChatGPT uh, and Google Bard for strategy. So a lot of what we've been talking about has been very tactical. How do you create text of various forms? How do you create um, videos and some of the tools for doing that? But what is the right text? What is the right video? What is the right message? Who's the right audience? Those are questions that are like the meta questions that influence your activity. Because otherwise you're just creating a lot of noise. And even if it takes you 10 seconds instead of 10 minutes, it's still a waste of time if it's not. 100%. Hundred percent. One of the first things that we teach people inside our course is we teach them how to create a strategy. So a strategy has three components. It has the plan, the people, and the promise. The plan is what is your goal, what do you'd like to achieve. The the people is who are you targeting, and the promise is what do you need to say to them in order to get them to buy, right? So using AI assistants like ChatGPT, Google Bard, Cloud, Pi.ai, and any of these tools, those assistants are essential to creating a LinkedIn strategy. It's essential because you're not gonna be able to do this yourself. You're not a marketing strategist. Maybe some of you are, but even if you're a marketing strategist, using AI to help you craft your strategy will save you a ton of time. So what do you do? You can ask AI to help you identify your target market and even build out a search for you using your ideal client. So for example, what I would say is, Joe Applebaum, CEO of Ajax Union, is creating a prospecting strategy for a sales navigator outreach for CROs that may be interested in his AI course in the US. Can you help think about what he should include in a sales navigator strategy? So it says, define your ICP, your ideal client profile, create a lead list, save the leads and accounts, personalize your outreach. So it basically breaks down what my strategy should be. So if you guys want to see me chat with the AI about my strategy for, let's say, for example, Evy AI or Ajax Union, I could share my screen, get right into it and show you guys in real time how I create a strategy. By the way, if you guys are getting, if you guys can turn this into money at some point in your career, put a dollar sign or multiple dollar signs in the chat. I want you guys to make it rain for me. I want to see it rain right now. Go ahead and make it, make it rain. Make it rain, baby. All right. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I love when it rains. I love singing in the rain. Okay. So let me share right now. All right. So as you can see, I have Google Bard open over here. I have ChatGPT open over here. I'm going to create, uh, I'm actually going to keep going over here. Um, what did I write over here? Act as a LinkedIn expert writer and create a LinkedIn post that has less than 2,000 words. Um, AI for LinkedIn. Okay, let's just see what happens over here, what it, what it writes. But in the meantime, what I'm going to do is, the first thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to ask Cloud, Claude, I'm going to say, uh, please help me. For those who don't know, who's Claude? So Anthropic, um, which is a competitor to OpenAI, decided that OpenAI is doing things that are way too dangerous because of the Dan, do anything now, because ChatGPT, you can actually override its security features and you can tell it to build a bomb. You can tell it to do some crazy things. And so Anthropic said, this is too dangerous. We're going to create a safer version of artificial intelligence. Um, and the and one of the workers that worked, one of the uh, first employees of OpenAI, him and his sister decided to leave OpenAI and went and opened up Claude. That's what he did. And so he opened up his own chatbot. And the way that this chatbot works is you can actually upload... Um, PDFs, uh, TXT files, and CSV files. Like for example, you can upload your book and you can chat with it. So it's 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 like it's just more conversational and it's a little bit different. So I would recommend testing out Claude if you haven't used it before. I'm curious to know how many people have used it. Have you used it? Have you not used it? Do you want to use it? And so on. It's Claude.ai slash chats. Okay. So now I'm going to click. I'm going to say, create. Please help me create a strategy for Joe Applebaum and his business. Um, Ajax Union. Okay, so now I'm going to tell them a little bit about Ajax Union. I don't know if you guys remember, but I have a little bit about Joe Applebaum. I have a little bit about Ajax Union. So I'm going to copy and paste over here this information here. And I press enter and I'm going to press paste. So now it pasted all this text in here. It's going to say, here are some digital marketing strategy ideas for Joe Applebaum and Ajax Union. Leverage his expertise as a LinkedIn trainer, promote his books and speaking engagements, build an email list of prospects, optimize his uh, personal website for SEO, network with other thought leaders for Ajax Union, establish a content hub, develop targeted landing pages, 
for the 10 marketing, for example, 10 digital marketing strategies for tofu, top of the funnel, conduct LinkedIn outreach, create case studies, invest in SEO, attend in-person networking events. And let me know if you want me to expand. Okay, I'm going to ask it now. Who is the best target market for Joe to go after, after on LinkedIn for Ajax Union? Okay, I misspelled LinkedIn, but it knows how to, it knows that I misspelled it. It's fine. Based on the information you provided, the target market would be B2B technology companies like SaaS, cloud computing, professional services like consulting firms, marketing agencies, and accounting services, financial, healthcare, manufacturing, and engineering, HR, and corporate training. Do you see the way it broke it down? So now I'm going to go after specifically um, engineering. Uh, Joe would like to go after engineering companies. Can you help identify the best type of engineering firms, engineering firms to go after in the US. Okay, so I'm asking you to help me identify the best type of engineering firms, civil engineering firms, construction engineering firms, electrical engineering firms, environmental engineering firms, mechanical engineering firms, chemical engineering firms. So I'm gonna do construction engineering firms over here. Do you see that? So I'm going to do over here construction engineering firms. And I'm going to say Joe would like to target construction engineers. Can you help create an ICP for this target? Okay. Now ICP stands for ideal client profile. So it's going to create an ideal client profile for uh, this. Look at this. It doesn't get better than this, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> it doesn't get better than this. So it's really breaking down the persona, the value proposition, the company profile. Now I can go in, in deeper and start creating messaging and so on. Um, I'm, we may be running out of time. So I just want to be respectful of everybody's time. I know, you know some people are dropping off now, but as you can see, um, there's a lot more to teach here. There's a lot more information to learn. So uh, if you're interested in learning more, I'm always happy to, to share more information, to educate you more, but for the sake of time, I just wanted to give you a glimpse onto how to be able to use tools like this to be able to craft a strategy. So um, before we uh, move to some of the kind of wrap up, I wanna make sure that folks know how to find and download and use the EBAI tool. So um, I know that that was one of the questions uh, from uh, Diane Mulligan. Uh, and so could you go ahead and, um, just uh, do a quick screen share and show us where to find the EBI AI extension and how to download it. Okay, so it's really simple. I put the link in the chat, but if you go to www.evyai.com, um, www that's E-V-Y-A-I.com, you'll see a button that says Add EBI AI to Chrome. Do you guys see that in the center here, this link? When you click on Add EBI AI to Chrome, it'll take you to the Google Chrome store. But before you add it, you can scroll down to the bottom and you can actually watch the videos that are here, how to install it and how to use it, okay? How to install it and how to use it. It basically walks you through how to do it. There's two videos there. But if you click on add to Chrome, it'll show you a little button over here that says remove from Chrome or add to, if it's on Chrome, it'll say remove from Chrome. Otherwise it'll say add to Chrome. And once you add it to Chrome, on the top right corner here, you'll see a little puzzle sign in Chrome. Do you guys see the little puzzle sign I'm hovering over here? When you click on the puzzle sign, it'll show you all the extensions you have installed and you can click on the little pin box to pin it there. Once you pin it, it shows up on the top right corner here. And when you click on it, you can sign in to your account. You can sign in for free with Gmail or with your, uh, with your business account. You can sign in. And once you sign in and you go to LinkedIn, then it'll start showing up in the various places in LinkedIn. So there are six things that you can do with this tool. Number one is you can write a post. So if you click on start a post over here, for those that want to know, I can say, write a post about AI and LinkedIn. Okay, so I'm going to click on Evy AI over here. I'm going to press generate. And it's going to write a post about AI and LinkedIn. And it'll do it in a very professional manner using a hook, main points, call to action, and hashtags. It'll do, it'll do it in the way where I teach my students how to properly be able to do that. You see that? Exciting news. Did you know that AI is a revolutionized way to use LinkedIn, blah, blah, blah. And it shows all the different things over here. And I can literally just press insert. You see that? 
I can delete this little rocket thing if I don't like it. Did you know that blah, 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 blah. And I can delete the little bottom over here where it says it's less than 2,000 characters. And I can schedule it. Do you see it says schedule for later here on the bottom? This is built into LinkedIn, 816. I'm going to schedule it for, let's say, 11 p.m. I press next. I press schedule. And now it's scheduled this entire post. Okay, so that I just showed you how to write a post and schedule it. If you want to leave a comment, click on the comment box. Because you installed Evy AI, there's a little purple icon next to the comment. I click on it. I choose my goal, my tone. I press generate. I can also enter a command if I want. Great post, Sarah. I completely agree that knowing oneself is living authentically, blah, blah, blah. I'm going to press insert. I'm going to press post. And now I just commented. If I want to send somebody, for example, a connection request, let's say, for example, David Baker, I want to send him a connection request. I click the more button. I click connect. And then I can customize the connection request by clicking on the add a note feature. And if I want uh, the AI to write it, I just click on the AI button. I click generate. It'll generate a custom connection note. Hi, David. I came across your impressive profile as an author and advisor. Your expertise in entrepreneurship is inspiring. Are you open to connecting on LinkedIn? Joe Applebaum. Do you see that? That's a highly customized connection note, which makes it 10 times more likely that someone will accept the connection request if you customize it. And it just takes a second to do. Then I already showed you recommendations. You go to somebody's profile you're connected to, you click more, you click recommend. And um, you can also customize your own, uh, optimize your own profile. So if you click on me and you click on view profile and you go to your about section, if you guys don't have an about section, I highly recommend creating one. This will help your profile rank on Google big time. So you go to your about section, you click on the pencil next to your about section. And once you click on the pencil button, you're going to see an Evy AI logo on the bottom right. And when you click on it, it'll take all the information in here and it'll rewrite it using best practices. It'll also insert keywords. It'll also insert uh, call to action and tons of other information. So you just click on every AI. It shows your profile optimization. You, pro you optimize it and boom, there you go. And now you have a profile that's optimized. So those are just something, and I showed you the DM already. So those are just the six things that you can do with every AI. And if you do those things, you know, you'll be able to be leveraging LinkedIn much better. And, um, you know, I had uh, uninstalled the Chrome extension, so I just wanted to show people quickly how easy it is. So you go to evyai.com, you go uh, add evyai to Chrome. Obviously, this is something you have to be in Chrome to do. You just click uh, add uh, extension. And now it's been added. And you can see it's right there. And if you want to pin it. You click on the puzzle piece to pin it. Click on the puzzle piece. You click pin, and now it shows up pin. there, and then you can click on it. Uh, it logs me now in. Now, it only reads it only reads LinkedIn. So when you click on it for the first time, it'll take you to LinkedIn, and there you go. Boom, There, it's right there. So oh, you just right. have to log in. You can sign in with, with Gmail, or you can sign in with your username and password. If you don't have a Gmail, in the top right corner, it says register. You can register. And once you sign in, you get 10,000 credits for free. It doesn't cost anything to use the 10,000 credits. And if you want unlimited content, we're offering a special deal for you guys. So you just click on the premium option and you'll get a special deal for that we're offering right now um, for unlimited content. All the AI tools that I know of don't offer unlimited content, but I'm willing to offer the first couple of people that sign up unlimited comments, unlimited posts, unlimited DMs, and so on. Um, I'm not looking to necessarily make money off this tool. I really want to help a million people be able to leverage LinkedIn much better. Right now, we have 630 clients using the software, and hopefully after you guys try it out and spread the word, we'll get to 1,000 in the next month. 631, actually. 